to understand our Bibles, to understand our New Testament, it's very important that we understand the difference between a Jew and a Gentile. And it actually sheds a lot of light on the New Testament and why things are said the way they are said. Understand that whenever we say Jew, we think of a religion, more or less, but Israel was a nation, is a nation. Out of Israel came Jews, God's chosen people, and they're all called Jews now. Now, understand this, that God chose these people for himself that out of the ark came three brothers Shem, Ham, and Japheth and Shem was the blessed son of Noah and from Shem God would raise up a mighty nation for himself okay now Shem you may have heard you may have heard of and uh, of anti-semitism speaking of a Semite it means um, it means you don't like Jews you don't like Semites Semitism is from Shem they were originally they coming from that line Shem Shemites and then the H disappeared and we call it anti-semitism um, Shem had a descendant named Eber we get Hebrew from Eber we added an H to his we took an H off of the other one so Eber from Eber came Turan came father Abraham the father of Israel the father of Isaac and Ishmael the father of Isaac and Jacob very important in the genealogies because Isaac and Jacob Jews Ishmael not that's why we say the living God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob if we said the living God of Abraham it could refer to Ishmael or Isaac two seeds promise was to one seed seed Isaac from Isaac Jacob but Jacob had Esau Jacob renamed uh, in Jacob Jacob had 12 sons 12 tribes of Israel each tribe is kind of a nation um, he had 12 sons and his name was changed by God to Israel throughout time they became known as Jews they come from Israel they are God's chosen people they fell into idolatry and they fell away from God but they are still God's chosen people. Gentiles. Anything that is anyone who is not a Jew is a Gentile. So the, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Egyptians, the Romans, all Gentiles. Greece, the Greeks, they uh, I believe that's where we get Gentile from so that is God's chosen people and everybody else in the Old Testament God deals with his nation which means everybody else was either getting conquered by Israel to take the land that God gave them 
because they were evil. No one got just booted out of their land because God wanted it. The people that were in the way of Israel were put there by the adversary of God to thwart the messianic line that would lead to God in the flesh redeeming mankind. So whenever he's conquering all these areas in Israel, it's not just, oh, big mean God going in and wiping out sweet little families. It's a different time. It's a different people. Different. Completely different. And these people were evil. And they, they had to be wiped out. We still see the remnants of these people is where our evil comes from. Um, so... But the, the, the point is Gentiles did not have the law. So, so the Jews had the oracles of God, and they had the prophets of God, and they had the law. They had Moses. They had God's revelation uh, directly. And God, like I said, he chose them, and he raised them up. He, he, he formed them, and he taught them how to be a mighty nation. In doing that, though, the Gentiles, if they were all pagans, they did what they wanted. They worshipped how they wanted. So when you read your New Testament, remember, Gentile. I say, I, I would be considered a Gentile um, because I'm not a Jew. And why does that even matter? Well, the, the, Paul is the apostle to the Gentiles. And the Gentiles don't go by the same sets of rules as the Jews do. And we go by God's rules, but there's specific things in the Bible for Jews. It's not for us. That's why Paul says, you know, don't let them sacrifice to idols. Don't let them eat, take blood out of the mouth and uh, stay away from fornication. We have a different set of guide, uh, guidelines than Levitical law, you know, uh, and so, it, it, whenever Paul speaks to a Gentile, he's speaking about us until we're born again in Christ. And then we're born as a spiritual Jew. We're reborn as a spiritual Jew into the family of God, adopted, and we get an inheritance. Then, we're all Jews. Spiritual Jews. But there's still a physical Jew. You cannot make all Jews spiritual and eliminate God's chosen people. Because God's chosen people are going back to Israel at this time. And God has plans for his chosen just as he has plans for his adopted. Jew is from the nation of Israel from the loins of Jacob who became Israel the son of Isaac the grandson of father Abraham Gentiles everyone else Jews were to worship one God only the almighty all powerful all knowing living God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob they were to flee from idolatry, and they were not to entertain it, period. Gentiles were pagan and worshipped everything from moon gods to rocks to trees to you name it. To frogs to flies to sun, moon, stars, kings. They worshipped everything but God. Pagans. Gentiles were pagans, not just God's people. Jews, God's chosen people. Who's better? Neither one. Both sinners, both fell away, both worshipped idols over God. New Testament. Hope that helps shine a little bit of light on some of your Old Testament, New Testament language that sometimes can confuse us. So when Paul speaks to Gentiles, He's speaking to people who just started reading the Old Testament maybe 2,000 years ago. When he's speaking to Jews, he's speaking to people who's probably had it memorized for the last 4,000 years in their ancestors. 
That's the difference. The Jews should know better. The Gentiles were foolish. They, they, not foolish. They were ignorant to God's laws. Jew and Gentile.